Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to my latest LEGO investing video. So in today's video, I'm going to give you my five, uh, my five steps to success with regards to LEGO investing and picking a winning set. So basically there is no sort of set way, set strategy or set plan to actually do LEGO investing. There are factors of course that LEGO investors look out for, there are signs that we can look out for um, to determine whether we want to invest in a set. But what I've done is actually compile a five step process that is pretty foolproof um, to actually, for me personally, to understand whether I want to invest in that Lego set. So what I'm going to do for you today, as you will have seen from a thumbnail, is I'm going to actually analyze using my five step process this set here, which is um, 75165, the Imperial Trooper Battle Pack. And uh, I believe this is a Rogue One set, as you can see the Shadow Trooper or something in the corner. I'm not too big on Star Wars, so I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a Shadow Trooper, but I'm not 100% certain. Um, but yeah, pretty standard bat battle pack, but quite a nice one non nonetheless. It's got, obviously, a little mini build there, and then you, you uh, have the four figures with their guns. You know, as I say, pretty standard, but still quite a nice little little battle pack there. So the first step, what, what we want to do, and also actually before I start, this refers, this guide refers, or this step pro, five step process refers to retired sets or sets that are retiring soon. So if the set isn't retiring soon, this five step process might not work as well. Um, this is kind of specific to sets that are coming to the end of their life or are at the, the end of their life. So yeah, first off you want to check Brick Set. It's a, it's a Lego site. It's got tons of information on there and what you want to do is you want to go on the site and you want to type in the set number which has, as I say it's there 75165 and pull up the product page on Brick Set. And what you're looking for is has this set been retired? And if it has been retired, and it'll, it'll show you at the bottom of the page, it's normally near the bottom of the page actually, I'll put a screenshot there. And what you're looking for is, has this set been retired? And if it has been retired, how long has it been retired for? And what was the shelf life? Now the shelf life is very important, I've talked about it in other videos, but a lot of people don't understand how important the shelf life actually is. Now. This the, this battle pack had a shelf life of one year. Some of the other battle packs have had shelf life shelf lives of two years, and others have had about one year. I mean, I think there's even been a few that have had six months shelf life, although that is more uncommon. Normally, it's about a year to two years, and on a lot of bigger sets, the shelf life might be three, four, five years, and the shelf life can determine whether it's going to do well in the secondary market you know let's say something's had a really really long shelf life then it may it might not do as well in the secondary market because it's been at lego for retail price for a very very long time whereas let's say in the case of the jurassic world sets they were only they only had a very very short shelf life i'm, I'm not too sure of the shelf life offhand i think it was around sort of four or five months it was quite short indeed um, but yeah, they had a short shelf life and we can we all know what those sets have done, they've just taken off like crazy. So obviously the shelf life can determine uh, the price in the secondary market or how it's going to perform in the secondary market. So you want to look at the shelf life, see if that's, you know, kind of short or whether it's quite, quite a long shelf life. This isn't like really long or really short, you know, a year is fairly standard. Um, it's nothing too um, unusual really. And then what you want to do, I, after you've checked if it's retired and after you after you know how long it's been retired for and what the shelf life was you need to move on to step two which is check google shopping now what you're looking for on google shopping you just want to type in the set number into google and click the shopping tab now what you're looking for on google shopping is as few results from uh, various different uh, different retailers as possible. So when you hit that Google Shopping tab, you want to be confronted with very, very few results from places like Argos or Sainsbury's or Tesco or places like that. What you want to see is Google Shopping mainly taken up, if any, if by anything, by eBay sellers or third-party sellers like that. Because if there are uh, if there's a massive supply on Google Shopping from loads of different retailers, 
even after the set is retired, then that means that it could take longer for the set to go up in value because the set is still available for at retail price from those other retailers other than Lego Shop at Home because obviously Lego Shop at Home, if the set is retired, then it will no longer be available on there. But however, all those people who are disappointed that we couldn't get it on Lego Shop at Home will just go to those other retailers. So what you're looking for in this step is few retailers and as we can see with this battle pack specifically there is only one retailer and that is a retailer called A1 Toys and they are actually selling it for over retail price which is a good sign uh, and they're selling it for £14 plus £4 postage now the retail on this set is £11.99 or £12 something around there and all the other sellers on Google Shopping, as far as I'm aware, and again, I'll put screenshots up there, are eBay sellers. And again, they are all selling them for above retail, so that is a great sign right there. So that all checks off, that's really good. We can see that set one checks off, it is a retired set, it had a half decent standard shelf life really, so those two steps are checked off, I'm quite happy so far. Number three is check Amazon price and number of FBA offers using the seller app. Now, I, I believe you can only get the Amazon seller app if you are an Amazon seller and you have an Amazon account and things like that. But, you know, if you are, then you should be able to download it, no trouble, and sign in and all that sort of stuff and get access to this information. So what you want to do is using the seller app, you want to type in the search bar the number of the set, and then what you want to do is click into the product page and basically what you're looking for is, is it above retail? Is it selling for above retail price? And how many current offers, current FBA offers that is, are there on that product? Now we can see with this one, the current FBA price is £21.97 and that is a pretty good sign because that is £9 above retail, £10 above retail and this set has only been retired for a matter of a couple of weeks so we can see that in the long term that does have potential to go up and also we can see that there are only five current FBA offers now that isn't terribly bad, that isn't like amazingly good I mean what you're really looking for is either no FBA offers or just one or two but at least it's not like a, you know a set that has 28 or 30 or 50 FBA offers five is a pretty decent number to look for so you know it's not an oversaturated or oversupplied market on Amazon so that's pretty good that checks out I'm quite happy with there all you're looking for as I say is it, if it's above retail price if it's selling for above retail price a few weeks or a few months after retirement then that's pretty good you know you can say you're happy with that if it's selling below retail price and there's quite a lot of FBA offers or you know uh, sellers offers then you need to think twice, you know, that is a pretty bad sign, so you need to think twice about investing in the set. Number four is check eBay price and number of current active listings. Now, the number of current active listings for this, this set in particular is 122, both new and used. And I believe the eBay price on average, you know, scrolling through the sold listings, on average is about 15 to 20 pounds sold prices. Um, so again, that's pretty good, you know, I mean, 122 active offers, yeah, it is quite a lot, but to be honest, that's split between both new and used, and, you know, with a Lego set like this, it has only just retired, that is still a pretty okay number, 122, it is a little bit saturated, but not, like, terribly saturated, it's, you know, it's pretty decent number, to be honest, um, and as we can see, 15 to 20 quid, average selling price i'm quite happy with that because it's above retail again and when you're looking at the ebay uh, sold prices that's what you want to be looking for whether it is above retail and then number five is just basically if if all these four steps are checked off if you're happy with that set and the things that you're seeing on all of these different sets you need to go out and find that product because obviously it's it's something you want to invest in if it isn't something that you want to invest in just cross off step five you don't need to do it but step five is search for the product at the best price and let's say that there isn't anything on google shopping like i've just said uh, in step two check google shopping and see that there's no retailer selling it well if there's no retailer selling it 
on Google Shopping, how are you meant to go out there and get this product? Well, that's where a little bit of ingenuity comes in on your part. What I would do is search the web deep. I would search for smaller online retailers that might not crop up on Google Shopping and try and find it from those because they may be still be in stock. You want to go down to your local supermarkets because they may still have it in stock. You don't know. It's only been retired for a couple of weeks, so they might still have it in stock. What you want to do is go to independent toy shops. If you've got an independent toy shop near you, go down there. I've got one quite close to me, actually. I would go down there, check if they've still got it in. Probability is they might do. Um, you know, maybe even local news agents or things like that. I have a couple of news agents near me who actually have branched out and do sell some Lego. So you need to, on, on step number five, you need to use your ingenuity. So is this a set that I would invest in personally? Well, I've got one here, so obviously you know I'm invested in this set. Um, but yes, I would. It ticks off all the, all the right boxes for me. Even though I've said in the past I don't really do battle packs, this one in particular drew me to it because it checked all of my boxes. You know, it's a retired set, the shelf life was pretty okay. Step number two, there was hardly any results on Google Shopping, which is a big plus. I checked Amazon, the Amazon price is above retail, which for a set that's only retired a couple of weeks ago is really, really good. I'm really happy with that. And also there's not a, a, a saturated marketplace and Amazon is only five sellers. Step number four, finally, checking eBay. You know, it's fine on eBay, all A-OK, -okay, selling for above retail. And other savers, there is a fair few sellers on eBay, but that's what you would expect so, with so little time after retail actually that's elapsed. So, yeah, I'm quite confident on this set longer term. You know, it is going to be a play that might take, you know, one years to, one to two years to play out um, and, and work in my favour. But, yeah, quite happy with that one. And, uh, yeah, I hope you got something out of this uh, investment video and I hope that you took something from those steps and that you can use them in the future. What I might do as well is actually write down this five-step process in the description. You can then copy and paste that into a Word document or wherever and you can adapt it or you can change it to suit your needs and you can print it out or whatever and then you can look at it and refer to it when you are looking to, to invest in a Lego set. So with that being said guys, I will leave it there. Please do give it a like if you did enjoy this video and if you'd like to see more Lego investing videos on this channel then please do drop a comment down below with any video suggestions suggestions or anything like that. So I will bid you good day and thank you for watching.